Are you still on the fence as to whether you should pull for guanifen or not? Well, in this video, we're going to go over three reasons why you should pull for guanifen. So let's get straight to it. All that being said, if you want to see more content like this on the channel, then be sure as always to like, comment and subscribe. And let's get straight into the first point. So of course, we're going to kick things off with the most explosive aspect of Gwen's kit, and that is her fire kiss ability. So to first understand that, we need to first understand both her skill and her talent respectively. So let's start off with her skill. So what does her skill do? Blazing Welcome deals fire damage equal to a percentage of Gwen's attack to a single target and then deals fire damage equal to a specific percentage of Gwen's attack to any adjacent enemies with a base chance to burn the target and adjacent targets. Now, the percentage will all likely depend on how much investment you've made into her skill. And when burned, enemies will take a fire damage over time equal to a percentage of Gwen's attack at the beginning of each turn, lasting for two turns. So that in itself is pretty strong. Now her talent, called Patreon Benefits, is when Gwen is on the field, there is a base chance to apply Fire Kiss to an enemy after their burn status causes damage. Now while you're inflicted with Fire Kiss, the enemy receives a specific percentage of increased damage which lasts for 3 turns and can stack up to 3 times. So when you add that on top of your essential skill, now you're applying your Fire Kiss damage, you can then see why Gwen's power continues to amplify over the course of your cycles and your turns. And that is because damage over time is such a powerful tool to have in Honkai Star Rail. And when you're able to invest heavily into Gwen, you get the most output. You get the most value out of her kit. When you're burning the enemy and your fire kiss is going off every single turn, and that amplifies every single turn, it does a lot of damage. And not only that, but you have great effect hit rate which means that the, the amount of damage you're doing over time just continues and just continues as far as momentum. So before you know it, you're doing 30,000, 40,000, sometimes even 50,000 damage to enemy targets because of all the subsequent damage that's happening over time with your fire kiss and your skill both applied to the enemy. So that in itself right there is insane value and one reason why you should pick up Gwen, uh, Gwen because she just does so much damage. She's a four star unit. She's not necessarily hard to build. She takes a lot of investment, which can be a caveat. But if you really love the character and you really want to see the most value out of her kit compared to other four stars, then Gwen is your best bet. If you're a fan of Nihility as well, then definitely pick her up. She's arguably one of the better four stars in the game. And like I said, when you can invest in her, she will very much reward you. Unlike other four stars where you can maybe bring them to 60 or 70 and maybe stop, I highly recommend building her to level 80, getting all of her talents maxed out, getting the best relics you possibly can, and before you know it, you are cooking everyone on field. That being said, let's move on to the next point. So as mentioned in the previous point, Gwen at the highest level of investment can potentially be a hyper carry character and she's a four star unit which is incredible because while she's four star she oftentimes plays like a five star because of the amount of damage that she does over time her fire kiss just does so much the more you invest in it and as long as you put all of your eggs into this basket you will reap the rewards surely as I mentioned before too, the only caveat is that you have to invest in her all the way. You can't just be leaving her at around 60 or 70 with your relics not really fulfilled or your traces not at max value. Gwen is a character where you really have to put everything into her. Otherwise, you will not get the same amount of value and return on your investment. Like I mentioned before too, unlike other characters in your four star category where you can leave them at a certain level and maybe only focus on one specific area of their kit for value, Gwen's entire kit needs to be focused on. Her, her talent, her technique, her skill, her ultimate, even I'll even go as far as saying her basic attack as well because everything that can apply burn 
is going to help you over time. And so if you're looking for a character that is relatively straightforward to build, but can really help you to carry the game in the sim universe, in the memory of chaos, and even the swarm disaster, you have a character right here that can do it all for you and much, much more. And of course, burn damage over time is just such an effective buff to have for your team. Since there are a lot of enemies in the game that are weak to fire and having a character such as Gwen who can do not only single target, but also AOE with her skill and her ultimate is fantastic. So if this sounds good to you, pull for Gwen. You will not be disappointed. Let's move on to the last and final point. Now the last and final point comes down to team versatility and this is where I think separates the great characters from your average or below average characters. In my opinion, a character that is versatile and can be slotted in numerous team compositions is a very good unit because that means they can tackle just about any form of content and their kit is consistent enough to where they can apply damage for the team and provide that sustainability and long-term survivability in your respective modes, be it SimU, be it the Memory of Chaos, so on and so forth. And Gwen just does a spectacular job of that. And that's because most characters, or most enemies rather, they typically have a fire weakness. But even if they don't, Fire Kiss is just so great on its own that you're just chipping away at the enemy slowly but surely and because your skill and your basic attack and your talent is just consistently applying fire kiss every single cycle there's never a time for the enemy to have a chance to breathe so just thinking about that team versatility is so so imperative in honkai star rail and in a turn-based game where a character really shines when they can be again heavily invested into and do the job effectively on not just one team. You can tell a four star unit isn't that great when they're very limited in their options and team compositions. They can only do so little for the team and the role is very specific. Whereas Gwen, while her role is essentially to do damage, any team in the game needs a damage dealer and any team can really use a fire damage dealer that does damage over time. So if you're looking for a character that is just consistent, that can be really versatile in terms of what team compositions you want to put her in. For example, my team is Lynx and Fushuan, Gwen and Jing Liu, and this team has carried me all throughout the game, regardless of the respective mode that I'm in, whether it's Simu or Swarm or Memory of Chaos, she gets the job done. And so that goes and that's just to show you right there that Gwen just has potential, long-term potential, so long as you invest in her. That's the, again, that's the only drawback is you have to fully invest in her to get the most value. If you can do that and you're willing to go the, the, the whole mile with her, then definitely pull for her because she is certainly a character that will reward your time and investment, but also be of great value to your account. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And you warriors, as always, stay strong and keep fighting. Take care. Peace.